All right, Libra. The underlying energy is the Six of Pentacles. This speaks of balance. There is some give and take stuff going on here. This is speaking about balance for this week, okay? Um, maybe perhaps you guys are having balance issues. I'm thinking there's some balance issues at this time. Um, but this is also could be regaining balance at this time too. So although there's some balancing issues between you and your partner or you and your life and stuff like that, for those of you that are in, in a relationship, this could definitely speak of something being regained. This is been getting that balance right, you know? Because obviously, like, we're Libras. Um, things cannot be un unbalanced for too long. So this is about not just having balance issues or noticing those balance issues. It's about tending to those balance issues as well. The heart of the reading here is the Eight of Cups. So... Something's definitely missing. Y'all went off to go and find it, okay? Um, this is the problem here. This is the problem with circumstance. And this is not... This, something's not right. Something's missing here. Something um, something that you guys have gone off to look for, right? Or at least attempting to. But what's keeping you from going off and looking for that cup or the problem, the, the missing cup that's kind of resembling what's missing is the higher front. This is structure conformity. This is about rules and traditions. This is about, um, this is about control, guys. So, and I don't think there's any control issues going on, but I think there's about, there's something traditionally up. I mean, there's something missing in this relationship that's typically in traditional ones, perhaps, or perhaps there's something different from the traditional ones that's making it feel like there's something missing here. Okay, um, this could be, you know, different traditional relationships as if, you know, someone that's, you know, black or white dating, um, you know, someone that's, you no, know, the speaking of racial, racial differences, religious differences, cultural differences, there's a lot of differences going on. So this what's missing or what's kind of like, you know, that's missing from out of the bundle here from keeping you from your wish. It's possibly dealing with, you know, with, with some, um, traditional differences and issues here. Okay. Um, hmm, that's really crazy. Oh, for some of you guys, this could be age difference as well. Um, but this is definitely a cosmic relationship. As you see here, you have a higher friend and the high priestess next to each other. Let's see them right there. That just means to me that the real relationship you guys are in, it's something that is the space of like you guys are meant to be. And you know, typically, you wouldn't see the higher priestess and the higher friend being together, right? Because she's all about using your intuition. She's all about you know using your wisdom and stuff like that. Your inner wisdom and stuff like that. While the higher friend is like the priest. But when it sticks to the book, the bylaws, and it's like, this is how it's going to be. Well, they're together, guys. They're, they're a couple. So this is speaking of more, definitely a couple-ish relationship. Now, let's get on to the, uh, the crowning energy. Yes, you guys do have the high priestess in your crowning energy. Um, this is speaking of using your instincts, trusting your intuition, and moving forward from there. This is about listening things, listening to things with your third ear, and watching things with your third eye. Taking this time to uh, to just use your intuition, use your your senses. Just basically be the high priestess, okay? She's also the keeper of secrets, so possibly this is some time to kind of be not be sneaky, but you know, you have wisdom. You have a, you have this wisdom now. Um, so just take this time now to be, to be intuitive. Use your intuition, use your instincts. This is your time to use your instincts. And the one I'm saying that the past, you have the Six of Swords. This is a transitioning from something, something that you left behind to something new. So fresh waters, like... The grass is greener on the other side, and it legitimately is because you're letting go of something that you let. That you're basically letting go of something. You, you're making that transition in your life and moving forward from it. Okay. Um, this is like the death card, letting the past completely die, so that way you transform and become something new. Okay. 
this is the same thing. You're living. You're li You've left something behind. You've left the last. Let your last life go. You're moving. You're going to a different place now. You're moving to some. You've moved to a place of something new. Um, or perhaps this is you guys physically actually traveling. For some of you guys, you guys probably actually maybe went over to uh to possibly your relationship. This again, traditionally. Traditional relationships don't have distance. Like six of swords, piece of distance. Perhaps this relationship is in regards to something that's long distance. Usually if I would say long distance if there was a three of wands, but this is talking about traditions and traditional relationships don't deal with distance. Okay? Not like that anyway. Like you have your everyday distance, like going to work and stuff. But you guys at least got to go home back to each other, right? Not with long distance relationships. What you guys are dealing with presently is the Five of Cups. This is about mourning the past, what's lost, and what's missing. Um, this, this is sadness. This is sad. Oh, the, but the good thing is that you guys have the Two of Cups there, so you still have a relationship there. Okay, so there's something that's still that's still tangible that still can be worked on. Um, sure, like you had a full platter, things were great. You dumped the last three cups. Oh man, that sucks, right? But at least you can make more drinks with the little with the cups that you have left. It may not be a lot, but you can make it work. There's some, there's still some optimistic. There's still an optimistic view of this car that you can take. Um, I'm not saying that you guys aren't being optimistic at this time, but the good, but there is there are two cups there that you that you do have, and that you guys can make stuff work. And the the what you guys you know what you guys. Um, lost it it's just it's just another reason for you guys to prevail and to you know to get you know to be better you know right learn from those mistakes and make make new juice if that makes sense okay so this is a time of feeling like uh, feeling like you've lost something this is morning but however but back to the two cups that are holding your hand, the optimistic you know view of your card here that you like you know like you know what yeah i i i the, car, uh, the cups are gone. So what? Yeah, I still have the two of cups, right? You still have a relationship. You still have that connection. And that's your foreseeable future. And this is what you guys see. You guys have your relationship still. I think that's awesome. But all this stuff is about playing it by ear. So there's some conformity, some traditional differences. Possibly there's some control issues, maybe? And there isn't, there's not much balance in this whole thing, okay? And that's what's missing, you know, there's something missing in regards to that. So let's go ahead and pull some cards. Let's pull some clear cards here. Wow. The whole world came out. Jesus. Not actually, but that's what it felt like. For the eight, pull for the eight of cups. Gee whiz, I cannot get any clear messages to come out right now. Gee whiz, they're just like they're trying to throw all kinds of they're trying to throw a story at me. And I'm like, I need one card to tell the story clearly. I can't have all these cards out. All right, eight of cups, eight of cups. Let's get it. Okay, the seven of wands, standing your ground and being defensive against, uh, this is something about, you know, this is standing your ground during some change. Um, this is a trend, like, this is the card before the nine of wands, if you know what I'm saying. So this is about the soldier coming in with confidence, ready to beat some ass. He's like, look, you want to take me down? Fine, we'll fight then, let's go. Then the, if the eight of wands came in, tore his behind up, and he's like, man, I'm tired, I want to go home. But he's like... That determination is still there from the very beginning. That seven of wands. He is the seven of wands. He is ready to, you know, even take some more beatings if he needs to. But he ain't giving up. That's what the nine of wands is about. But this is the very beginning. This is before 
he was beaten up and tired and things. So this is about not only having the confidence and the uh, the determination to go through the changes necessary. Um, this is also standing around. So this was missing. It's possibly some confidence. There's some. There's some possibly some doubt here. Um, the confidence ain't isn't there. That's what was missing. That's what it's saying to me. Right here, let's see. Let me just go ahead and pull a card here. Five of cups. So this is about the past, guys. This is a big time about the past. This is about traditions and something that being great. So this is this is a warning about something that happened tr like in the past in regards to traditions. Perhaps you dated somebody that's a different race than you are, different age. Again, culture differences like that. So this is bringing back up, you know, this is bringing back up some of those old, some old issues. Um, and this is kind of what's missing. It's what's kind of keeping you from looking for that cup, from making that, t that, that step to, you know, towards change. It's because something something is not only just something's missing, but there's some past issues that are coming back up. And it's just is focusing on the past here. Alright, why do we get the uh, what else can we get for the high priestess and the crowning energy? Okay, the page of pentacles. So this is paying attention to details. Again, using your intuition, right? Remember what I said, listen with a third ear, look with your third eye. This is basically the kind of saying that when you're looking things and watching the detail, looking at the details, it's the time for you guys to look at the details. Um, this is also speaking of doing the work, maybe boring and temporary, but it's it's for your better good. It's almost over. It's also, it's like the five of wands, except it's not intense, it's just really extremely boring. So this is possibly, you know, putting the work in, boring like I said but it's worth it there's also uh, new beginnings or uh, offer something stable maybe this is maybe saying use your instincts in regards to messages like that you know trust your instincts whatever it says don't just go ahead and leap to it just be kind of you know use your intuition feel yourself fill it out first all right what about the six of wands six of swords here in the past Six of Swords here in the past. <clears throat> All right. Wow. This is about the Four of Wands. You so you perhaps you guys have moved in the past. There's some moving going on, or perhaps you guys have transitioned to a more tra you know a more stable um, ground. This would say some more stable ground in a relationship. This is leveling up. Perhaps you guys. Yeah, like I said before, you guys transition to a more level, a more stable position in your all's relationship. Um, hmm, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Wonderful. And for the five cups here, what do we got? Wow. So the eight. So the ace of cups and the ten of wands coming up for. The Five of Cups. So this is possibly speaking, the thinking on and moving things with more positivity here. Okay, because right in front of him with this card with the um, Five of Cups, you have you know he have him not only just looking down, but he's got the cups in front of him. So to be honest, we don't know what card he's what cup what pair of cups he's looking at. The three that are on the ground, the group of you know, that's on the ground, or the couple that's it's he's got in his hands, right? I think this is more of looking more, I think this is, a, the, although, like, you're mourning and stuff right now, the, the focus is on the past and what's been lost, you've also paid, you've also, you know, noticed the, the, the benefit, you know, the positive part of it, where you do have new love. The only thing about it here is the Ten of Wands, it's a bit of a burden, so, the, whatever, so, the positive part of what it's telling me is splitting it into two. The thing for me is, is that, yes, 
the positive aspect that you guys have noticed is the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning coming in, right? But then you have the past that's still much, very much a burden to you. This loss is still very much a burden to you. Okay? Ooh wee So this is what y'all are dealing with at this present time. That's not fun, but at least you guys notice that you do have new love and it's worth going into, you know what I mean? The, the, the loss isn't too bad, but you guys can move forward. Okay? The Knight of Wands is for the uh, Two of Cups. For some of you guys, you guys are going to be interacting with Aries and Sagittarius. But this is about being more playful and more passionate in your relationships. This is how you guys see your future um, coming up for your, um, for your love lives. I think that's freaking awesome. Yes, it does, you know, being more passionate in your relationship. And I think that's great. All right. The result of this, of this, um, reading here, the outcome is the three of swords. So that speaks of, you know, of old issues coming back up or dealing with old issues. So, I mean, it's a good thing that you guys are dealing with old issues because when you deal with old issues, it brings, it, it'll bring true balance. It won't be just a quick fix. You know what I'm saying? It won't be like, eh, hey, okay, so we saw it. You didn't do much about it. No, bringing them up and working through them will bring you that true balance. Sorry, it's getting dark, guys. It's evening time. Um, but, brew, but to wrap it up anyway, the clarify, ooh, wow. Well, this is a message here. This is a definite message. To clarify the three of swords, you have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is about, it's pretty much the poverty card. It's not having support, lack of support. And three of pentacles is about planning for the future. So this is crazy. What, is, uh, what it looks like it's saying to me right now is that the old, these old issues are in regards to not having any support. But with you facing the Three of Swords, with you, like, you noticing them there, the, pa the past pains, this will pro propel you towards the future. This, this fixing, this true fix of these old issues of mourning the past, this will help you move forward and plan for the future. Wow, guys, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for y'all. Oh, y'all. I love it when these cards do that. It's like, hey, don't shuffle no more. We got the card for you. And the card is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay? So this could be, like I said before, dealing with these old issues. Okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be like, go ahead and get in with that love and stuff. I mean, it could be, right? Go ahead and do that. But what it's saying is express these old issues. You know? Talk about them. You have a loss going on, and it's kind of keeping this, this, this kind of, that's kind of what's missing. It's this, this, you feel like somebody's missing, and you don't have that self-confidence. That self-confidence is what's missing, so you need to express how, you know, I guess it's about using, not using your relationship, but allowing your relationship to help you through these hard times. That's what the Five of Cups is, keeps coming up with. It's saying, let this relationship help you move on, you know, help repair the damage done by some past some past aches and pains and the card that you guys get for this week is flexibility let me go ahead and read the essential means and the oracle message for y'all and if y'all can see the card clearly she's like on a ball there being very flexible she looks kind of like a shrimp i'm going to be honest with you but we're going to go ahead and read it on Still a very gorgeous card. And the number is 19. 
Okay, flexibility, essential meanings, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's more important. The oracle's message. A tree's roots are, so, uh, are solidly planted into the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how... Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, malleable um, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay Curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you, too. Wow. Okay. So, this is about letting your, letting the, letting what you've lost be more of an empowerment for you. Let this time, let this, let this balancing time be for you guys to really address the painful issues that are going on right now. Really address the painful issues. Because it's painful, this loss. This loss this loss is really a burden on y'all. So it's time for you guys to use your instincts. It's time for you guys to look at things and, you know, look at things with, you know, with detail. To, to uh, with attention to detail. Okay. And let your partner help you. Okay, let him bring that passion, let him or she, him or her bring that passion in. And let let your relationship in. Let, let yourself have that support right now. You have support. Don't ignore it. Don't think that you can just handle this by yourself. Because if you can have support, if you can have people help you, let them. Because the Five of Pentacles is all about that. That is all about you know lack of support. But it also speaks of ignoring it. So don't let, don't ignore that help. Don't ignore it. Because this is a time for y'all that to really. Regain balance not only within your relationship, but within yourself too. 